remember if you don't want to be seen on youtube take your um camera off if you're all right with it you can leave it on ron and laura you've got a, you've got a friend there on the sofa I'm live there and am I live here? I should be. There we go. I'm live on, as Ren would say, YouTubes. Just got to wait for it to load up on the old laptop. Still got a few, a couple of minutes before half eight anyway, so. Oh, they're already. Evening, mum and dad. Evening, Bob Liss. Oh, got some more people coming in now as well. <laughs> Just a couple of minutes before we start, get yourselves a drink. Hi Trish, hi. Oh, hi Di, no guys, no guys tonight. Let me share my screen. There we go. Should all be able to see that now. Other than that, I'll just wait for half past because I think we're all um all good to go. So yeah, I'll give it till um spot on half to half past eight and then uh, get going. We even had time to be able to watch the um Leicester game, pre-quiz. What a treat. <clears throat> oh, two more people in there. Okay, right, I'm gonna get started. So good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Quiz Wizards Lockdown Quiz. So yeah, it's our fourth quiz in our second lockdown. So um, it's good to be back live this week, rather than the pre-recorded quiz that I sent uh, last week, but I'm feeling much better now, so that is all good. Let's um, have a look. And see what we've got in store for today. Remember, if you're taking part on YouTube, I know there are a few of you at the moment, um, you can subscribe to the channel, join the Facebook group, and also um, follow me on Twitter by clicking either of the icons in the um, channel banner. And still lots of quizzes um, available within the channel. Monday night quiz. We've also got um, some more mini quizzes uploaded. So I did um, an emoji guess the song quiz. Um, so that's one for you to try. It's been quite popular. Um, some eight out of eights on that. And then there's something for the weekend quiz as well. Just my usuals, my regulars, I suppose, my regular global players taking part. No one knew this week. Let's see if we can get some from South America. It looks a bit bare down there. So how does the pub quiz work? Many of you are familiar now, but it is six rounds with eight questions in each round, all on different topics. Um, playing just for fun, no prizes, 
So, um, yeah, just in, enjoy playing with your families or with your friends via whatever app is being used or on YouTube. So what are tonight's rounds? Round one is general knowledge, traditional. Round two, uh, questions all about movies. Round three, picture rounds. First picture round, and it is named the puppet, so famous puppets. Round four is called ups and downs. So um, in the question, there is something linked to the word up or down, okay? Um, you'll you'll get it when we get there. Round five is not a picture catchphrase round, it's about catchphrases. It's the only image I could find. <laughs> so yeah, famous catchphrases. And then, do you know what? I've never done this before. It might be a bit niche, but the last round is footballers, a picture round. Name the footballer. Now I've tried to do it, so even if you're not a huge football fan, you've still got a good chance of getting quite a few of them right, because they might be footballers who have appeared on um, TV shows, for example. Um, so I think you'll be okay. So general knowledge, movies, puppets, ups and downs, catchphrases, and footballers. Right, let's get going then with round number one, which is general knowledge. Here we go, question one. Who played the character Chandler in the TV series Friends? So who played the character Chandler in absolutely fantastic TV series Friends? I can just imagine what my mum and dad are saying right now. Still maintain Ross is the best character. Question two. The Bernabeu or Bernabeu football stadium is in which city? The Bernabeu football stadium is in which city? I have been there on a stadium tour and it is very impressive. Question number three. The Archbishop of Canterbury's residence is at which London palace? The Archbishop of Canterbury's residence is at which London palace? Here comes your fourth question. Which dance was a hit for Terry Wogan in 1978? Which dance was a hit for Terry Wogan in 1978? I remember, I, I don't remember this one well, as in, I wasn't alive then, but I know of it. <laughs> I was minus six. <laughs> Question five. Which Atlantic colony gives its name to a type of shorts? Which Atlantic colony gives its name to a type of shorts? Cheers. Question number six. How many years are celebrated in a bicentenary? How many years are celebrated in a bicentenary? Question number seven. In which Italian region 
is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So in which Italian region is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? It, if you've not been there, it's a pretty interesting place to just, just to go and watch people taking odd photographs around the tower. It's quite amusing. And question number eight. The Great White Shark was a nickname for which Australian golfer? The Great White Shark was a nickname for which Australian golfer? <clears throat> now, I can see that we've had a few people just turn up on YouTube, so you may have missed um, the questions there. So I will give a quick recap of questions one to eight on the general knowledge round. So number one was, who played the character Chandler in the TV series Friends? Question two, the Vernon Bow football stadium is in which city? Number three, the Archbishop of Canterbury's residence is at which London palace? Number four, which dance was a hit for Terry Wogan in 1978? The late Terry Wogan. Number five, which Atlantic colony gives its name to a type of shorts? Number six, how many years are celebrated in a bicentenary? Number seven, in which Italian region is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? And number eight, the Great White Shark was a nickname for which Australian golfer? So most people seem to be put in their... Um, Christmas uh, decorations up early. We've done it tonight, so I thought it was time to get the old, uh, get the chicken hat out. There we go, Merry Christmas everyone. So uh, yeah, I'll keep this on for the next round. There we go. Maybe if we do an online uh, Christmas quiz, um, we'll all get dressed up in our Christmas attire. But here we go, round two this evening then is films all about movies. Right, let's go with question number one. Whoopi Goldberg starred as a nun in which 1992 film? Whoopi Goldberg starred as a nun in which 1992 film? Question two, in which animated film did Mel Gibson provide the voice of a rooster called Rocky? In which animated film did Mel Gibson provide the voice of a rooster called Rocky? Come on, Paul, you've got to have some sort of um, turkey joke lined up. Come on. <laughs> Question number three. Who received an Oscar nomination for his role in the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever? Who received an Oscar nomination for his role in the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever? Number four, which Disney film features the song Breaking Free? Question four, which Disney film features the song Breaking Free? Number five, Jack Black provided the voice of Poe in which 2008 animated film? 
Jack Black provided the voice of Poe in which 2008 animated film? Oh, Paul, that's not that's that's not your best joke. But I will read out anyway. Why did the turkey cross the road twice to prove he wasn't a chicken? Question number six. In the 1974 Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun, what was the name of the villain? Or what is the name of the villain? In the 1974 Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun, what is the name of the villain? Question number seven. Who plays Black Widow in the Avengers series of films? Who plays Black Widow in the Avengers series of films? And question number eight. Which 1991 comedy film was about a band trying to bring soul music to Dublin? Which 1991 comedy film or film was about a band trying to bring soul music to Dublin? So one more time for those YouTubers or those of you that got kicked out of Zoom. Number one, Whoopi Goldberg. 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 Starred as a nun in which 1992 film? Number two, in which animated film did Mel Gibson provide the voice of a rooster called Rocky? Number three, who received an Oscar nomination for his role in the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> Number four, which Disney film features the song Breaking Free? Number five, Jack Black provided the voice of Poe in which 2008 animated film? Six, in the 1974 Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun. What is the name of the villain? Number seven, who plays Black Widow in the Avengers series of films? And number eight, which 1991 comedy film was about a band trying to bring soul music to Dublin? I can go now. OK, so our third round is our first pitch round of the evening and it is about puppets. You are going to see eight puppets um, throughout time. And uh, yeah, you just need to tell me the name of each of those puppets. They'll be revealed one at a time and I'll give you just a couple of minutes to try and get your answers. So here are your puppets for the round. Puppet number one. Number two, puppet three, number four, puppet number five, or well, puppets, number five, number six, number seven, and here's your last puppet. Okay, who are they? So whilst you're answering those, let's um, say hello to everyone on YouTube taking part tonight. Numbers have been a bit up and down. Harry, nice to have you with us again this evening. Paul, and we've got a, it's been it's been fluctuating a little bit on YouTube. So if you are there playing, let us know. Got quite a few people playing on Zoom tonight, which is good. Uh, remember to um, give the video a thumbs up. That's always good. And uh, at the end, to give me a comment as well. Remember, you can also subscribe to the Quiz Wizard channel as well. Click on that subscribe button. Right. Let's get back to these. 
puppets, shall we? When I was putting these together, I will admit there were probably two on here that I just wouldn't have got. Recognize them, I just couldn't think of the names. That's good to know, Paul. Paul got a free um, puppet today. No, no strings attached. <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna give you a minute or so on these and then um, I will stop the share and I will um, come to the audience to see who can answer any of the questions. I'll come to, I'll come to some people on the, on the ones that I consider to be a little bit trickier. Okay, another 10 seconds or so. I think most people will be there with these. Okay, big wave from everyone in a second. Hi everyone, evening all. Nice to have you, uh, nice to have you with us. So, I will go through the answers to round one, two and three. So, so first round was general knowledge and question one was who played Chandler in the TV series Friends? That was Matthew Perry. Did you get that, mum and dad? No, no, I didn't think you would. Number two, the Bernabeu football stadium is in Madrid. Madrid, Real Madrid stadium. Number three, I'll, I'll come to the audience for this one. The Archbishop of Canterbury's residence is at which London Palace? Anyone know that one? Uh, Phil and Joe, I'm going to unmute you there. Phil and Joe, you can unmute yourselves. Oh, no. Lambeth oh, Palace. Yes, you are correct. It is Lambeth Palace. Well done, sir. Well done. Question four. Question four was, which dance was a hit for Terry Wogan in 1978? The floral dance. <laughs> Number five, which Atlantic colony gives its name to a type of short? That's Bermuda. How many years are celebrated in a bicentenary? Bicentenary. Happy Gooners, I'm unmuting you. Yes, in the last 32, Simon. Congratulations to yourselves as well. Thank you very much, sir. That's 200. It is 200. Well done. 100 less than top score in a game of 10 pin bowling. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, da -da -da. Number seven, yes, number seven. The Italian region where the Leaning Tower of Pisa is, is Tuscany. Tuscany. And does anyone know who the Great White Shark, which golfer the Great White Shark was the nickname of? Ah, oh, the Joneses, you're back. Me? Go on, the Joneses. I'm trying to, I'm trying to unmute you. Go on. It's not working, is it? Mime it. Yeah, Greg Norman. Yeah, well done. <laughs> it was Greg Norman. Oh dear. Number two. Number two, round two even, was movies. Whoopi Goldberg starred as a nun in, in Sister Act. Great, great film. Um, Mel Gibson provided the voice of a rooster called Rocky in which film? Anyone know that one? Yeah, the commitments, the commitments are mouthing it to me. Chicken run. Yeah, chicken run. Um, Saturday Night Fever, the actor who got an Oscar uh, nomination was John Travolta. Which Disney film features the song 
breaking free. Does no one know that? Oh, the Southerners, the Southerners. I'm going to unmute you. Or oh, you need to unmute yourselves, actually. Go on. High School Musical. Yes. Is it a favourite of yours? <laughs> no. 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 It is right, though. High School, high school Musical, absolutely. Um, Jack Black provided the voice of Poe in the film Kung Fu Panda. In the 1974 Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun, what was the name of the villain? Oh, it's a Bond film. Do the Bonds know? Yes, I've got to go to the Bonds on the Bond question, haven't I? I've got, I've got to. Me. Well, then, yeah. Is it okay. Scaramanga? It is Scaramanga. Who's, well done. Whose birthday is it? George's. It was George's on, on Monday. Happy birthday for Monday, George. <laughs> yeah, it was Scaramanga, so well done for that one. Number seven was um, Black Widow was played by Scarlett Johansson. And the 1991 comedy film about a band trying to bring soul music to Dublin. That was a tricky one, I thought. Anyone know, anyone know that? The Commitments. I'm trying to unmute The Commitments. It's not working. Oh, go on. It is. It is. It is. Is that the go commitment? On. It is the commitment. <laughs> yeah. See what I did there? See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> I clearly did that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> and then we had our um, picture round, which I will reshare with you, which was puppets. Puppets. If my computer wants to share them back again, but it doesn't want to, which is not helping me. Why? Well, that's not very helpful. It won't share at the moment. So I'll go through the answers anyway, and then hopefully I'll be able to get them back. So, oh, oh, there we go. It's just uh, going a little bit slowly. So puppets, number one is um, Flat Eric. Number two is Orville. Number three, I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue. Was Lord Charles. Number four was the other one I didn't know, but that's Beaker. Number five is um, Zig and Zag from The Big Breakfast originally. Number six is Oh, Zippy. Number seven is um, Barney. And number eight, was Gordon, or was, is Gordon the Gopher. I believe he was, um, wasn't he um, on Going Live? Didn't he, didn't he do some work with Philip Schofield back in the day? I think I might be right in saying that. So, it's time for an interval. Get yourself um, a couple, get yourself a drink, a beverage. Um, and I need to make an apology during the interval. I said I'd do this and I've not forget, forgotten. Last week on the quiz, I said that there was nobody who had done my quiz who had... Um, I said we had people that had done the quiz that have been on Eggheads, but nobody that's been on the chase. Vince. Vince has been on the chase and I remember watching it. So, um, yeah, I apologise. He actually did really well. He, he won 6,000. The team got 19, but then they lost in the final. But... Yeah, so I do know someone. One of my quizzes has been on the chase. So, um, if you want to share what your scores are at half time, that's really good. That'd be interesting to know. Other than that, I'll get restarted again in another minute or so with round four. Just going to have a bit of refreshment myself. Can't beat an ice cold DC. Harry's on 18 and off to tune his guitar. Good stuff. Anyone on uh, anyone on the old uh, Twitter sphere? I believe that's what it's called these days. It's Billy Barnes out there. Might be. No, he sometimes plays on a different uh, on a different evening. 
It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna get restarted in a second. With round number four, which is called ups and downs. So in this round, in the question, yeah, the word up or down will appear in some way, shape or form. So it's kind of like a general knowledge round, but with that kind of theme running throughout it. So we'll get the idea. Here comes your first question in ups and downs. Which football team played their home games at Upton Park until 2016? Which football team played their home games at Upton Park until 2016. Also known as the Berlin Ground. It's a nice little ground, actually. Question two. Who became the presenter of Countdown in 2012? Who became the presenter of Countdown in 2012? Obviously, uh, it was Richard Whiteley, but then there's been a flurry of presenters, hasn't there, really? But which one was 2012? Question three. Who played Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey? Who played Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey? It's not something I've watched through choice. Question number four. Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk was the best selling song in the UK in which year? I've been kind of giving you some choices. Was it 2014, 15, 16 or 17? By my maths, you got a 25% chance. Mark, a great song as well. Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk was the best selling song in the UK in which year? 2014, 15, 16 or 17? Number five. Upsilon is a letter in which alphabet? Upsilon is a letter in which alphabet? I'm always a bit funny about asking uh, questions about alphabets now after a live quiz I ran. And the question was, what's the 17th letter of the alphabet? And uh, all three people in the team put a different letter down. Yep. <laughs> so, Upsilon is a letter in which alphabet? Number six. I'm going to get a little bit trickier toward the end. In which two counties are the Black Down Hills? In which two counties are the Black Down Hills? I'm, I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous tonight. So half a point for each one. I don't normally give half points out, but why not? Question number seven. Which instrument can be upright or grand? Which instrument can be upright or grand? And question number eight. What car manufacturer produces the up model? What car manufacturer produces the up model?
I'll go through those really quickly once more. Number one, which football team played their home games at Upton Park until 2016? Number two, who became the presenter of Countdown in 2012? Number three, who played Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey? Number four, Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk was the best-selling song in the UK in which year? Got some options there. Number five, Upsilon is a letter in which alphabet? Number six, in which two counties are the Blackdown Hills? Number seven, which instrument can be upright or grand? And number eight, what car manufacturer produces the up model? Round five, the penultimate round is catchphrase, catchphrases. OK, so <clears throat> most of the questions are an actual catchphrase from somebody um, famous. So, so, yeah, that's basically what it is. So here comes your first question. Who was often heard to say stupid boy in the series Dad's Army? I'm looking for the character in that one. Who was often heard to say stupid boy in the series Dad's Army? Question two. So this is the only one where there wasn't, it's not an actual catchphrase, but it's about catchphrase. What was the name of the character often used in the pictures by Roy Walker's programme Catchphrase? Not Roy Walker anymore, is it? What was the name of the character often used in the pictures in Roy Walker's programme Catchphrase? I have had rounds in the past with this character included. I think the rest of them are actual catchphrases. Number three. Which TV character was often heard to say, I pity the fool? Which TV character was often heard to say, I pity the fool? Couple of potential answers there. I will take or accept either or either. Potato, potato. Number four. You get nothing for a pair was a catchphrase in which TV programme? You get nothing for a pair was a catchphrase in which TV programme? Question number five. Who was known for the catchphrase, Bernie the Bolt? Who was known for the catchphrase, Bernie the Bolt? I only knew that one because I got the answer next to it. I wouldn't have known otherwise. Number six, what you're talking about, Willis, was the catchphrase for the late Gary Coleman in which TV series? What you're talking about, Willis, was a catchphrase for the late Gary Coleman in which TV series? Question seven, he's fallen in the water, was a catchphrase from which radio show? He's fallen in the water, was a catchphrase from which radio show? And question eight. <laughs> I know how I can't do the voice, but <laughs> hello possums is a well-known catchphrase of which comedy actor? Is it 
Hello, possums. Something like that. Hello, possums. It's a well-known catchphrase of which comedy actor? I think I'm right in how I've tried to do it. Hello, possums. <laughs> okay, so those eight again. Number one, who was often heard to say stupid boy in series Dad's Army? Number two, what was the name of the character often used in the pictures in Roy Walker's program, Catchphrase? Number three, which TV character was often heard to say, I pity the fool? Number four, you get nothing for a pair? Was a catchphrase in which TV program? Number five, who was known for the catchphrase, Bernie the Bolt? Number six, what are you talking about? Willis was a catchphrase for the late Gary Coleman in which TV series? Number seven, he's fallen in the water, was a catchphrase from which radio show? And number eight, hello possums, however it's said, is a well-known catchphrase for which comedy actor? Can't move on the last round already. And it is footballers. Yeah, I've always tried to steer clear from it, but I thought, why not? Um, yeah, I thought, why not? Football's been in the news quite a lot lately. So, um, yeah, give it a go. So here are your eight footballers from the past. You might know them from football. You might know them from TV shows. But who are they? A couple of rogue ones thrown in there as well. Ooh. Footballer number one. Number two. Footballer three. Number four. Number five. Footballer six, number seven, and footballer number eight. How many can you name? Have you got them all already? I hope you're enjoying the quiz, everyone. And um, yeah, we'll find out how many everybody has scored at the end. I wonder what the top score will be today. Six rounds of eight, 48 out of 48. Remember, if you are watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. If you think you know somebody who might be interested in playing the quiz, let them know about the channel. These quizzes do stay up there um, permanently. So you can always try them again at another point. I'm only going to give you a couple of minutes on this round. Some absolute world class players. in this round. Oh yeah, I'm a celebrity's on now, isn't it? Yeah. It's worth a watch. Okay, just another 30 seconds or so on this, and then I'll go through the answers. I bet there's a few of you that got eight out of eight on this quite easily. Okay, so I'm coming back to you all for some answers. Is anyone watching I'm a Celebrity? <laughs> yeah, the friends are. Yeah, the challenge last night. <laughs> okay, so um, round four this evening then was ups and downs. So, which football team played their home games at Upton Park? That was West Ham United. Number two, 
Who became the presenter of Countdown in 2012? It's quite a few presenters. Does anyone know that one? God, um, happy Gooners, happy Gooners. I'm at, this is an educated guess, but I'm going Nick Hewer. That's the first thing you've ever done that's educated, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it is Nick Hewer. Yeah, it is Nick Hewer. But also, yeah. Um, he shops in Waitrose, by the way. Oh, it does he? Yes, indeed. Oh, on a regular basis. Um, RIP to um, Des O'Connor as well. He was a presenter of Countdown for a bit, wasn't he? North Antonian as well. So, um, yeah. Number three. Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey was played by Hugh Bonneville. Uptown Funk was a song in 2015. 2015. Upsilon is a letter in the Greek alphabet. In which two counties are Black Down are the Black Down Hills? Two counties for this one. Anyone know the Black Down Hills? Can you, can you, oh, Mal, Malcolm and Ange, I'm sure, go on, I reckon they've got this one. Devon and Somerset. It is, Devon and Somerset, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my, my best uh, Somerset accent, yeah, you can um, have half a point for each, but you obviously scored the whole point there, you two, so well done, um, which, in, oh no, yeah, which instrument can be upright or grand, that is obviously a piano, and the um, up model of car is by Volkswagen. Uh, round five catchphrase. Stupid boy um, was by Captain Mannering. And the character in catchphrase was obviously Mr. Chips. Number three, the TV character, often heard say I pity the fool, was Mr. T or B.A. Baracus. <laughs> um, James. James Jones, I'm gonna unmute yourself. You get nothing say, for a I pair. Just, can you hear me? I just wanted to say, quit your jibber jabber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, play cards right. No, I was asking you to do the catchphrase. Oh, you what? failed. Oh. You get nothing oh. for a pair. Not in this game. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's Bruce. Bruce. Um, no, it's not Bruce Forsyth. The answer is play cards right. <laughs> but yes, that was Bruce Forsyth. Um, who was well known for the catchphrase Bernie the Bolt? Bernie the Oh, mother and father. Can you unmute yourselves? Yeah. Bob Bob yeah, I, I didn't know that one. What's that from? And also Norman Vaughan as well. The Golden oh, Shot. So it can be Bob Monkhouse or Norman Vaughan from the Golden Shot. There you go. My dad, my dad's just said that there's two possible answers, so you can have either of those. <laughs> there we go. Knowledge, good stuff, Father. Not just a hat rack. Um, number six. Uh, what you're talking about, Willis was from um, different strokes. He's fallen in the water. Was a catchphrase from The Goon Show. The Goon Show. Yeah. And this last one, hello possums is a well-known catchphrase. Does anyone know how they say hello possums? Was I along the right lines? Does anyone want to do it? <laughs> no, people are just nodding saying I was along the right lines. That's good. Barry Humphreys. Barry Humphreys. Okay. And then um, the footballers. So um, this was actually done before yesterday. I had no idea about what happened yesterday until about 11 o'clock at night. But... Number one is um, David Seaman. Number two, great footballer, Luis Figo. Number three, uh, obviously, he passed away yesterday. That's Diego Maradona. Number four, uh, former Manchester United and Denmark goalkeeper, Peter Schmeichel. Number five, that is a distorted Gary Lineker. Number six... Ian, right, right, right. Number seven, that is a distorted Ronaldo, not Cristiano. That's fat Ronaldo, as he's well known. And number eight is Bobby Charlton. So, 
So you need to work out what your final scores are. So if you want to put them in the chat and let me know, um, 46 from the commitment, 43 from Cockadoodle 2. We've got 45 from the friends, 27 from Mr. Big Well. 32, Mum and Dad, well done, 48. 48, Malcolm and Ange, that's full marks. That's full marks, 32 and a half, 44, 37. The Lanyani's 44 for the Joneses. Is, is, is. Happy Gooners, 35. 43 for the Southerners, 33 for the uh, Dyes guys. With Yeah, for Dyes guys. 45 for the Quizzy Rascals, they got caps lock wrong. Bonds, 38, good score, 41 for the House of Wards. Phil and Joe's 33, Bobbist 43, McKernie's 42. Oh, <laughs> Malcolm and Ash is <laughs> <It's> 40. <laughs> a misplaced finger. That's quite a large finger to go from a zero to an eight. <laughs> oh, dear. 36 for Harry, good score. Ah, Billy Barnes, 43. I was looking for you on Twitter. You've come through to YouTube, good stuff. So... I think 46 might have been the top score then. Someone got 46, I'm pretty sure. The commitment's got 46. So, um, yeah, the, yeah, 46. Well done. Oh, I've got another score in there as well. 31 and a half for Sarah and Jackie. They left at half time to watch <laughs> I'm a Celebrity. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? Okay, so, everyone. Yeah. Um, you know the drill. Remember, give me a comment. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Loads of stuff going on. And um, yeah, we'll see what's going on over the next couple of weeks with the quiz. Um, I'll keep everybody updated and informed as to whether it's continuing on a Thursday or might change back to Monday. It's going to be based on um, my own personal circumstances. But whatever happens, next time we do a quiz, it's going to be December, month of Christmas. Uh, which means each week we'll get closer to uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a fun Christmas quiz at some point. So don't don't worry about that where we'll get dressed up. So. Um, yes, keep um, updated in the Facebook group with um, yeah, any updates about the quiz. Um, but also just before I go, make sure that you all are all staying safe. Um, take care of each other. And if you ever get bored, why not come and try one of the quizzes? Um, have a good evening, guys. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Okay, good night.